Hi guys, how are you? <laughs> the sad thing is this isn't even all of them. I have so many. Today I am going to be doing an updated video on my art journal collection because you guys have been requesting it. I will tell you a little bit about each book and then if you guys want to see any videos on a specific book just comment down below and I will try my best to do videos on them. The very first creative journal that I purchased was a Reckless Journal. I have not held my first Reckless Journal in a very long time. I bet if I were to look at the art in it, I'd be like, oh my word, it's horrible. So this is one of the drawings in it, and I definitely think I've improved since then. This book was, I got it years ago, like at least five or six years ago. If you've never heard of a Reckless Journal, it is a book by Carrie Smith, and you're pretty much supposed to wreck it, like the prompts on the page tell you to do very destructive things to the book, but I used it to be creative and draw and stuff. I liked the Reckless Journal so much that I ended up buying another copy. And because apparently two Reckless Journals were not enough, I have a third one. So this is the Reckless Journal that I'm currently working on. And I'm actually doing it all Peter Pan themed because Peter Pan is my all time favorite. And then because I loved my Reckless Journal so much, I also got This Is Not A Book, which is also by Carrie Smith. You guys are asking me to do more videos on this, which I would love to. There's one little problem. The way I was doing this book, it really does not inspire me at all. Like, it doesn't look very neat or nice or creative. Whenever I hold this actual copy of the book, I'm just like, I don't like it. It's not because I don't like the book. I actually love this book. I just don't like the direction I was going with it. So one day I will buy a new copy and do more videos on it. I promise. What This Is Not A Book does is it tells you it is not a book and then each page tells you something else that it is and what you have to do to it. Like this page says this is a public space. Invite people to add something to this page. And they're all like something different. Um, this is an underground organization, um, this is a plate, place your dinner here. It's just like all random things saying that this is something else other than a book. After I got This Is Not A Book, I also picked up Mess, which is also by Carrie Smith. Um, this one is fun. I don't know why I haven't worked in it in a long time. This one is meant to be messy. It's called Mess. It tells you to do things. It's kind of similar to Reckless Journal, whereas the things can be destructive, but they're meant to just be messy, like drip some kind of colored liquid here. Oh, this one was lots of fun. Cover this page with something sticky, glue, honey, or etc. Drop a powdery substance onto this page and blow off the excess. So I used glue and like, um, makeup pigments. So I had fun with that. But it's a mess, but it's fun because it's supposed to be a mess. This one is definitely one of my favorites, and it was just like in the bargain section of Barnes & Nobles, and it is called Rip It, Write It, Draw It, and there's literally like not even an author's name on the book. Um, so yeah, I don't even know who made this, but it is 240 pages of fun and creative tasks to complete. I do have videos up on this. I love this one so very much. It's very similar to a Reckless Journal, but completely different prompts. Like, I was shocked at how, like, there's a few that are similar, but so many of them are very different. For example, one of the pages were to make something cool on these pages by using only free samples. So I went to Lowe's and got, like, the free little, um, paint swatches, and I used a hole punch with them, and I made Ariel. I walked away with the hugest stack of those and I had employees looking at me like I was crazy, but they were free so they couldn't really yell at me, you know? This one is a, another one that I absolutely love. It is called One Page at a Time by Adam J. Kurtz, I think is how you say his last name. And the concept behind this book is that it is a creative diary or like an interactive diary. You're supposed to do one page a day for a whole year, but really I kind of just work on it randomly. It has like little questions or things and then you write it out according to the day that you are doing that particular page. It's really, really fun. The anti-journal is 
Another one that I really love. I'm tending to pick up my favorite ones to talk about first. I had actually never heard about it, and I went to my P.O. Box one day, and the authors had actually sent me a copy. Um, there was no note. They weren't like being like, you have to show it on your channel. They sent it to me, and I absolutely love it, so I do videos on this book. Um, and it was so kind of them to send it to me. It's by David Sinden and Nicholas Catlow. It's similar to the other ones, whereas the pages have prompts to do and you can fill them out or complete the prompts however you see fit. But they are very different prompts. Here is an example of one. It had a drawing of a chair and told you to add real fabric to it. Here is another one of the pages in it that told you to categorize insignificant things and I categorized apps because I was trying to be all deep and philosophical and was like, the apps on our phone are insignificant compared to all the other things around us in life. A another book I have by David Sinden and Nicholas Catlow was also sent to me by them. They were even kind enough to sign the copy that they gave me. And yet again, they did not be like, you have to talk about it in a video. I do not get paid to talk about their books. Um, they were just kind enough to send them to me, and I absolutely love their books. This one is different in the fact that um, a lot of the things you actually don't do in the book. You are meant to go out into the world and find beauty and creativity in all of the things around you. For example, here is one of the pages, and you can see what I mean. It has a lot of little things you are supposed to do, but not necessarily on this page. You're supposed to do it out in the world. And then there are some that you are just supposed to do in the book, like this one said to guess my song, you're supposed to depict a song without using any words, this one said to whirl your colors. Another book I have from David and Nicholas, I actually bought with my own money, they did not send me this one. Um, this one is called Don't Eat This Book, and it is actually geared towards younger people, like little kids, but I still find it really, really fun. So, but since it is geared towards little kids, like it has the, it's a huge book, like it's, it's really big. Um, it has all these cute little drawings of the sky in it. For example, this one said, make a poster for something imaginary or silly that you've lost. Because I love Peter Pan, I drew the Lost Boys. This one is fun because it, it's literally huge. So huge! A another interactive journal I have is The Pointless Book, which is by Alfie Days. I hardly have worked in this, and I don't know why, because it's a really cool book. This one is a little similar to post this book in the sense that some of the things you do directly on the page, but then other ones you're like supposed to film yourself doing challenges and stuff. I will show you a few of the pages in it so you can kind of get an idea about it. This one says, write five things you like about yourself and why. And then this one tells you to make a crazy cocktail and to mix like ten things together in a drink. Um, write down what you put in it, if it tasted good, and if you liked it. I also have the Scribble Diaries, um, which I love the little artwork on the top. And then it says the Scribble Diary. This is by Lisa Curry. Each page has different little questions and things to fill in, but this one is a diary, so you fill it out. I don't do it every day because I'm not the best at writing in a diary, but you can do it every day, you can do it whenever you feel like writing stuff down, but it will have little questions and things for whatever day you're filling it out on. But this is one of the pages that I've done in it. And it was like the day I went to see 21 Pilots, so of course I wrote in it. Another book by Lisa Curry that I have is called Me, You, Us. This one is really fun because it's one that you do with someone. You can do each page with a different person. You can complete the whole book with one person. It's really, really fun. Um, I've been doing this copy with my sister because she lives far away. So anytime she comes home for a visit, we work in it. And she's currently home, so we have to work in this. For example, this is one of the pages. If we shared a bedroom, which we used to, because we're sisters, but she moved out, obviously. Um, this is her side of the room, and this was mine. This is another Carrie Smith book I have. She's the one that did the Reckless Journals. This one is called Everything is Connected, and I really haven't done much in this yet. 
Um, but I'm pretty excited to. It's very, very different than the others. These are actually all interactive postcards that you would, like, send to people in the mail. Um, so, like, you and whoever you mail them to can complete the postcard. It's really fun, and I need to do it because I have some pen pals, and I think they would like these things. Or maybe, because I always reply to my P.O. Box letters, maybe you guys will get some of these in the mail. <gasps> that would be really fun to do. That's it. Next time people write to me, they're getting one of these. This book is called Dare to Doodle, and this is another one I haven't worked in very much yet. And what it is, they have like started doodles and a little prompt, and you are supposed to finish the pictures. Like this one says, what do you see? And you're supposed to make something out of this. This is when I started. It's supposed to be your desk. I started making it look like it was my desk, but I never finished this page. This one is a, another Carrie Smith book, and yes, it is another Reckless Journal. So that makes four, but technically, this one is different. This is the Reckless Journal Everywhere. It is a pocket-sized Reckless Journal that has different prompts that you are supposed to do out and about. I like to take it with me when I go to camp or on vacation or like for a walk and stuff. Some of the prompts are the same as in the original like the climb up high and drop the journal one but then there are different ones like while you are out for a walk scrape this page on a variety of natural surfaces as you go. This is a page I actually did while I was at camp and I scraped it off of trees and rocks and grass and dirt and then I drew, um, <laughs> Joy Dragging Sadness. A another creative journal I have is Create This Book by Mariah Elizabeth. And she also has a YouTube channel and she shows, like, herself completing her own book and stuff. And she does work this journal. Her channel's really cool. This one always tells you to create something on the pages. Like, this one was Create a Test and you were supposed to draw the same thing with your dominant and non-dominant hand. This one is a page I haven't done yet, and it tells you to create simplistic drawings, and you're supposed to make, like, stick figures all over the page. And the last creative journaling type book I have is a smash book. These are really fun because they're kind of like a journal and a scrapbook all combined in one. They come with, like, decorative pages, um, like scrap of paper, pretty much, is what's in them. Oh, look, this is a page I did from the day my little nephew was born, but you can, I don't know, they're just really fun. I, how many times have I said that? Somebody please count and tell me. I do have one video up on this. Um, this page said favorite things, so what I did was I attached a lot of my favorite things to it, and I also use it as a scrapbook, as you saw the one page. I also use it as a diary. Those are all of the creative journals that I currently own. My collection is always growing. There are a few more that I want, like, because apparently this is not enough art journals for me. But because I know you guys will ask which my favorite ones are, I clearly love Reckless Journal since I have so many copies of it. I love Anti Journal, One Page at a Time, Create This Book. And the list goes on and on. Pretty much whatever ones I post the most videos on are the ones that I am the most inspired to work on based on the prompts on the pages. Thanks for watching. I love your beautiful faces. And I will see you next time. Bye!